Hello, and if you've watched my videos on the Arcade Legends Volume 2 and 3, and the Street Fighter 2 edition, then you'll know that they're crap, and so are the consoles. But there was one that I was missing out on, and that was the Arcade Legends Volume 1. So obviously I did them in backwards order, but is this going to be any good? Well, probably not, because as this came before all the other ones, this isn't going to be much better, is it? But let's have a look anyway. In Arcade Legends Volume 1 you get six classic games and they are Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Altered Beast, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Kid Chameleon and Flicky. The console design is probably one of the best of the bunch, it is of course the Mega Drive control pad in blue. It also has a transparent layer to it, it looks pretty smart. The console itself is the same as the others resembling the Mega Drive 2 and the standard piss poor AV connection which only outputs mono and this will become apparent very soon. To power the console will require four AA batteries which will go in the console unit. A power supply can be used if you can find one to suit. Once powered on you'll get some ugly graphics and stretched out too. I'd recommend switching the aspect ratio to 4x3. You have your gameless screen where all six titles can be found. Let's take a look at them. Immediately you'll notice the sound quality is shocking and remember the stereo sound issue I mentioned? Well you can hear that Sonic has no jump sound. It is present if you listen very carefully but this is a big mistake that has been overlooked. You'll also notice it's in 50Hz which is painfully slow. Take a look at some footage of each game and I'll throw in a couple of comparisons of what they should look and sound like. from your grave. from your grave.
Sadly, this console isn't much good, just as predicted. But, you get six good games with it, so it's not that bad, especially for the value. I mean, it's roughly about £25 um, boxed, and you can get it far cheaper as a loose console. But, it does suffer the quality like the other ones do. It's not an exact Mega Drive replica, but you can still have fun with it. It responds well, and it plays well, so it's not too bad. Plus, it's far cheaper than buying them all separate, let me tell you that much. So. Altogether, it's alright, and that's all I'm saying about it. For the money, it's good, and I'd rather have good than a big pile of shite.